Hello YouTube stackers, this is ST with Silver Stacking 101, where we always believe in staying stacked and packed. Stacked with silver, gold, food, ammo, and packed with the means necessary to defend our stack. Economics is defined as the allocation of scarce resources and the attempt to fulfill the insatiable wants, needs, and desires of the consuming public. Let's do a hypothetical. Let's say we start a brand new society and we have to determine how to distribute the rewards. We only have so much stuff and everybody always wants more. The way we are going to distribute these rewards is by having every member of the society once a day walk across a balance beam. We construct a facility with various beams of various heights. The higher one walks across, the greater their reward. Underneath these beams is a solid slab of concrete. We start our society and unfortunately as we go along, a few folks fall off and become very hurt. Nobody likes that. Also, there's some folks that just don't have the physical ability to walk across the beams. But we notice there's a large group that consistently walks across the beams. So we go to that group, and we'll call this group the producers. And we ask this group to escort the ones that can't so they can get some rewards. Nobody seems to really mind. That's just a decent thing to do. Still, people are falling off and getting hurt. It becomes apparent we need a safety net. The various degrees of heights of the beam are the risk, and those need to be mitigated, the downside risk, and the safety net's the way we do it. We need reliable people to hold the safety net. So we get the producers to hold the safety net. Every time someone falls off, the net catches them, and the producers have to expend energy to suspend these people while they can go on their way. We will call the energy used, the unit of energy used, a dollar. So what happens is people start becoming more careless walking across the safety. Uh, the balance beams. We will call the balance beams life choices. People fall off more often. Even the producers sometimes misstep and fall off, but the other producers don't seem to mind because it could be them next time. However, another group slowly emerges. They have figured out, don't even get on the balance beam, just walk across the safety net and they will get some rewards. Every time they do this, they sap energy from the producers holding the net. But this group doesn't care they sap energy from the producers holding the net. Let's call this group welfare. So as they go along, we are weakening the producers. Because some folks don't even want to attempt to get on the beam. Next thing we notice is there are some guys that go constantly to the highest beam and they try to get style points by how they go, go across. They want everybody to see them so they go across dancing, doing cartwheels, gymnastics and so forth. When they fall off, not only do they have to get back on the beam, the, but the, some producers have to get in the net with them and lift them back to their lofty perch. We will call this group the bailout boys. And then they continue on their way after spending enormous energy from the producers. The producers start to become weakened. So the game overseer decides to make everything better. What was considered one unit is divided and it's now two units. The overall strength has increased 
but they dilute the units, so it appears it's increased. It didn't change anything, but apparently it makes the optics look better. Well, I just described to you where one could take risk and enjoy the rewards from their risk, but not have to deal with the negative consequences should things go bad, is what is known in economics as a moral hazard. When one can enjoy the gains from the risk, but not the responsibility for the losses of, that may be incurred. That's exactly what our social safety net has evolved into over the years. Certainly, it was intended for good purposes. Even good people can slip in life, and they need a helping hand to get back where they need to be. No one criticizes that, and there are certainly some people that are unable, due to physical or mental incapacity, to make it on their own. And it's our pleasure, the producer's pleasure, to help these folk. However, there are people that don't even try and depend on the producers to hold the net that spend their energy so they can get their small reward. This type of social welfare and corporate welfare has destroyed the value of our currency. It's destroyed the work ethic in this country. Unfortunately, it's true. Over time, this will be a huge contributing factor to our currency decline and crash. This is why we buy silver. Because silver stackers, I have noticed, are very self-reliant people. They're the producers. They're the people that depends on themselves. That's one thing I like about the silver stacking community. Let me know what you think. Do you agree or disagree? Let me know what you think and why you think it. Please give me a thumbs up. Sub subscribe if you haven't. Thank you for watching. God bless you. And remember, stay stacked and packed. Because we are going to need it.